in some ways this war is much closer to us in terms of its experience than is the Second World War. Um, that may seem paradoxical, but we have so cast the Second World War as the, as the good war, as the war that is undeniably necessary, that its horrors are not remarked upon. I mean, the Second World War is actually more costly in human lives. Uh, it lasts longer. It does far more physical damage. It is more genuinely global. Uh, we have much more cause to regret the impact of the Second World War than we do of the First World War, and we have much more cause to see the Second World War as inherently wasteful. But what, of course, redeems it is the Holocaust, although nobody went to war in order to save the Jews, sadly. I mean, that, you know, partly because, of course, in 1939 the Holocaust hadn't begun, but even when it had begun, it was not the prime factor in explaining Allied strategy or what the Allies were trying to do. Um, but because it's become unequivocally the good war, it's not a very easy war to have a debate about uh, in terms of its moral dimensions, in terms of the reasons for fighting, in terms of when it is right to go to war, when it is wrong to go to war. The Second World War, sorry, the First World War, the First World War does that for us wonderfully well. Because, you know, particularly for Britain, I mean, the cabinet thinks jolly hard about the wisdom of going to war. It's deeply divided at the beginning of the crisis. Eventually, it broadly speaking, unites. And by the time it's united, the country as a whole is also convinced that this is a necessary war. And once that's happened, then it can become, then, then it, 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 they, the cabinet, and the people of the country as a whole are engaging with the issues of just war. What is it that makes this war justified? You know, it is a war justified in their eyes because uh, it's about the rights of small nations, it's about international law, um, it's about the, 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 the obligations that states have towards each other, as well as being an argument about strategic necessity. You know, that Britain cannot ha afford to have an overmighty Germany uh, in the Low Countries immediately adjacent to its main imperial and maritime communications. So there absolutely is a self-interested argument. But crucially, there is a moral argument that it plays with, with, with the strategic argument. Um, and the two converge rather than diverge. So I, I would see this, this as, as, a, as, a, uh, as, as a war which provides a vehicle which is, has enormous resonance for us now as we think, when is it, is it right to intervene in Syria? Is it right to, to go to war in Afghanistan? Um, wars which we sort of unfairly characterize as wars of choice, because I don't actually think any war can be a war of choice. I mean, you choose not to go to war rather than to go to war, or alternatively, all wars are wars of choice. You know, it's not some are wars of necessity and some wars of choice. There has to be an element of necessity in any war in order to explain it. But precisely where that that degree of ambiguity comes in, that is exactly where we can begin to probe some of the questions about the First World War, which have resonance for us today. We tend to privilege our own experiences unique. Um, and actually, uh, in, so, uh, in some respects, it's not unique. Others have been through some of these dilemmas before. Some of these things sound very modern. Um, uh, and the notion that in 1914, it's another world. And of course, in many ways, it is another world. And, 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 and the notion that there's a world of, 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 of uh, monarchs still and of, of, of multinational empires and, all, and, and these things will all go, can sometimes distance us from the reasons for its having immediacy, for having, uh, uh, you know, it is only 100 years ago, actually. <laughs> um, and there are just some people who can remember it.